and like to share something which I have seen in the morning today. When I was walking in a garden, I saw a beautiful flower blooming beautifully. It's a red colored rose. Really, it's wonderful, amazing of nature and fact in the early morning. But my dears, already it has opened its petals in the night itself. But I didn't see the in the night time. I saw that in the early morning itself. Why this happens? Why it's not uh, giving such a pleasant in the night? Why it's very pleasant in the morning? I can confuse it for myself. Do you agree with this? I hope you also come under this instance that when you see your garden in the night time, it may not look beautiful. Is it? When you see that in the early morning or in the morning time, it looks very beautiful. And you can observe the green color, yellow color, different types of colors and different types of flowers which have blossomed in your garden. Is it? But how is it possible? Why it's not in the night and it's in the morning? Yes, my dears, your answer is right. That is because of light which is emitted by the sun. Is it? Yes, my dears, in today's session, we shall discuss about one such beautiful phenomena of our solar system that is light, shadows and reflections. Okay? You don't know how beautiful these are. You just imagine yourself how beautiful the light is and how beautiful the shadows are and how beautiful the reflections are. If there is no reflection, we can't see our beautiful face in the mirror. Is it? If there is no shadow, we cannot write some poems or we cannot even observe or we cannot identify an object which is which comes under the line of light. Is it? So, these are all beautiful phenomena in our environment. Okay? And these we can study in our subject science. And you are very lucky to study these things in our science. Is it? It's very interesting topic and very interesting subject also. You don't miss the video. Go through the video and learn the beautiful phenomena of our environment. Okay? First is light. Okay. What is light? Yes, my dear, you know that uh, we have some uh, different kinds of lights in the home. Is it? Means we have different kinds of colorful lights. Uh, in a function or anything, we, we are using colorful lights to decorate our homes or to decorate uh, puja, uh, mandir. Is it? To decorate the temples. Everywhere we are using colorful lights. But what is actually the light? When you uh, analyze yourself that uh, uh, the light is very beautiful and it is very colorful. Yes, light means it is nothing but a luminosity. Okay, it is nothing but a luminosity. All those objects which emits light are called as luminous objects. What are those called as? Luminous objects. The objects which emit light from their bodies are called as Luminous objects. Yes, my dears, give example for luminous objects. Think it over for yourself. Which is a luminous object around you? Yes, your answer is right. Your guess is right. That is sun. Is it? It is a naturally luminous object. It is a natural luminous object which emits light. And also electric bulbs which we are using in our home. Those are also called as luminous objects because they emit light. Okay? They emit light rays. They emit light of their own. So these are called as luminous objects. Very best example of luminous object is sun. Okay? Which is the example for luminous object? Yes, my dears. Observe carefully. Example for natural luminous object is sun. What is it? It's a sun. It may be as in a in your test for one month, okay, which is a natural luminous object means you have to write it as a sun because it emits a light uh, for its own. Okay. Next one is transparent opaque cube translucent. Okay, transparent opaque cube translucent. Before going to the topic, I will ask some questions to you. You just remember I have written here light, shadows, and reflections. But can you imagine yourself without light? Is there possibility of shadows? Is there possibility of reflection? No, we cannot imagine. Is it? 
are hang over with the light. Is it? They are always together with the light. They are always surrounded by the light itself. Next, we come to the topic now. What is transparent? What is opaque? And what is translucent? Yes, my dears. Any object, the any object you can take, any object which is allowing light to pass through it, which allows light to pass through it. Okay, any object means you can take a glass. Okay, you just take a glass and see some objects through it. Yes, it allows you to, it allows you to see a clear picture. Is it so that we can use spectacles? Is it? So that we can use spectacles nowadays. Optical fibers are also used in uh, uh, wearing the used in making the specs. Is it? Those are also called as transparent objects. Okay. Example for transparent object is example for transparent object is glass. Optical fibers. Is it? Optical fibers. And write some other examples for yourself. Now you can do the what is. Transparent. Transparent means it allows the light to pass through it. So it is uh, possible. So we are able to see the objects clearly through those transparent objects. Okay, those transparent objects. Next one is opaque cube. What is opaque cube? Opposite of transparent. What is opaque cube? Opposite of transparent means any objects. Any objects. Any objects. Which does not allow the light to pass through. Okay. Which does not allow the light to pass through them. Means if you use those objects to see the objects in front of us. We cannot see those objects. Those are called as opaque cube. For example, I am using this duster. You just see this is a duster. If I see through this duster, I won't see what is happening here. Is it just because this duster does not allow the light to pass through it? It does not allow the light to pass through it. Hence, it is called opaque object. Okay. Example, you can write so many examples: book, table, chair, or else curtains that you are using in your home. Anything you can write, but the should not allow the light to pass through. Okay. Those are called as Paper and spread 
take that oil sheet and see the bulb like this. See the bulb like this. You can observe there is something but not clearly. Okay. You can observe there is something but not clearly. This is what we call as translucent. Okay. Yes my dears. And next we shall move on to the shadow. Yes this is very beautiful thing. Because you might have all played in your uh, childhood days that uh, make it like this. It is having some uh, horse like structure. Is it? All this is, uh, um, is possible just because of shadows. Is it? Then how the shadow is formed? What actually the shadow is? The different definition of a shadow is shadows are formed. What are shadows? Shadows are how the shadows are formed. Shadows are formed when an opaque object comes in the path of light. When an opaque object comes in the path of light. If the path of light is like this, if we put our hand like this, then we can find the shadow of our hand on a wall. Is it? You might have observed all these things in your home. When the cover has cut off. Is it? When you have like some lamps in your home, you can observe the shadows. Is it? This is what, how the shadows are formed. This is all about what we have discussed today. What is black? And what are luminous objects? What is transparent object? What is an opaque object? And what is translucent object? And also how shadows are formed. Okay? Yes, my dear, so I hope you understood this chapter very well. And this is a very beautiful chapter and it is very interesting chapter for you. I hope so. And in our next class, we shall learn more about shadows.